Hello viewers, this is Evelyn Selina Show. As usual, welcome back. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification button. Also, please like this video so that we are able to reach out to as many people as possible. If you've, uh, you like the content, please put down the comments. Tell us what, uh, what you think. Tell us uh, ways of improvement and tell us what other crop you want us to, to talk about today. We are joined by one of our farmers in Aro County. He's a renowned wheat farmer. He's going to take us through wheat farming and tell us what he does. Because Narok is a county where wheat farming is done and it is uh, production is very good and I can, as you can see the crop is doing very well. So I'd want him to talk to us about uh, what he does. Tell us your name. Please tell us your name. Tell us what you do and tell us what uh, you think about free, uh, wheat farming. You can take us through the processes in wheat farming so that we can all learn and uh, see what to do. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Tamo, uh, John. I'm one of the farmers from Mao. I actually do farming, that is, uh, I do wheat, I do potatoes, and uh, maybe some maize. But today we are talking about wheat. Uh, I have a, a variety of wheat here, which is known as chui. It is a hard uh, wheat. We usually use it, as you know. Uh, it is uh, one of the most important crops in Narok. It's a cash crop, in fact. And uh, though with the challenges, we wrote the challenges, but as farmers, we are trying as much as we can uh, to produce wheat. Maybe to begin with, uh, if you want to be a good farmer in wheat uh, planting, the first thing you do is to source for seeds from Kenya seed. We source seeds from Kenya seeds, but this year it was a challenge. We had to go to other farmers to look for uh, seed to plant. Then after you source for seeds and you source seeds, according to the acreage that you want to plant. Like in this farm that you see here, I was planting approximately uh, 55 to 60 uh, kilograms uh, per an acre. And then after you source the seeds, you go for the other inputs like fertilizer. Then when you make sure that you have the fertilizer and you have the seeds, now you go to mechanization. Um, a tractor mechanization is also a challenge because we do not have our tractors of our own. So we usually source tractors from maybe service providers and these service providers, they are also farmers. So it may take a little bit longer for you to get a service provider. Then after that, and usually our planting season here, this is the high amount. We usually plant between right from June up to September. That is the planting time. And after you have sourced for the seeds, now you prepare your you prepare your, 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 your land, or you, you prepare your, exactly, you prepare your land. We, we start with plowing, we can use the disc plow. After you use the disc plow, disc plow there is the harrowing. And if maybe your, 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 your piece of land has a lot of weeds, you can start by spraying herbicide. Then after that, after you spray the herbicide, a week or two, you plow. After plowing, you do the harrowing, then after harrowing, you look for the planter, then you plant your, your seeds. After you have planted, it takes around 40, 30 to 40 days. You spray the first herbicide because maybe here in Mao we have a lot of rains. So if you don't prepare your land well, definitely you are going to encounter a lot of problems when it comes to controlling the weeds when they have already grown to maturity. Then after that, you continue spraying uh, right from 35, 45 days, the first, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, spraying. And when we are spraying, we usually, we as farmers, we usually spray herbicides plus pesticides uh, because wheat is usually attacked by a variety of uh, diseases. There is what we call rust, and uh, wheat is actually affected by rust. So you pre you start preparing yourself because this. Uh, herbicides that we use, they are mostly expensive and uh, because you have already planted, then definitely you must look for the herbicides and the pesticides to control any disease that may affect uh, your, your, your plant. So like when you look at this field here, you can see that we do not have any weed. And this is because I control them right from the initial stage. You can see the wheat is very clean. What I'm actually doing is like now I'm going around my farm. I've already noticed that we have some aphids. I've noticed 
And what I'm going to do, because the rains have stopped, I'm going to spray pesticides plus uh, the chemical that we use to control uh, rust. Because at this stage, when you look at this uh, crop now, it is heading to maturity. And this is the most dangerous stage. Because this is where now we have the, the food itself. And if you, uh, you don't take care, then it means that at the end of the day, uh, when you will be thinking that the crop is mature, and you bring your combined harvester, you will be seeing a lot of dust coming out. Uh, you think you have, you have a lot of, uh, you, you have very good yield, but at the end of the day, you are going to lose a lot. So this, day, this, this stage is the most dangerous and the most important. When you look at uh, maybe this uh, small seed here, you can see there is already uh, uh, there is a pest here. So it is attacking the seed that is already developing. You can see it, this, this small one, you can see it. So this is the most dangerous stage. So maybe in a week's time, after maybe fast, I'll make sure that I spray to control any uh, disease or any pests that may attack my wheat. Uh, another challenge maybe that we've been having in wheat production, especially last year and this year, is the cost of farm inputs. Our farm inputs, fertilizers, have gone very, very high. Uh, but we thank the government. It brought about the subsidized fertilizer. But it came maybe when most of us had already planted. So we are expecting that uh, because we are still going to plant, even in the coming year, if the government actually can support farmers with the subsidized fertilizer, then definitely we are going to reap a lot of uh, profits. Because for any business farmer, any business person. The aim of doing any business is profit. So also here, despite the fact that the inputs are very high, when you look at this wheat, I expect to harvest not less than 20 bags. And the cost of uh, one bag currently, market rate, is going for 5,500. So despite the fact that the inputs are very high, I also expect to get profit from this farm of mine. I have other several farms, but we, this is where actually I've brought um, my consultant here so that we may actually talk about wheat farming, uh, the challenges that we are having, and uh, maybe what we expect uh, from uh, the wheat production. So uh, generally, I can say that uh, we really thank the government. We expect in the month of January, they are going to supply us with subsidized fertilizer so that we can prepare ourselves uh, for the coming planting season, that is the month of um, maybe starting from June up to July. Otherwise, wheat farming, though expensive, is so good. We also, maybe I would also say, uh, maybe there, are, there before we've been having challenges whereby when it comes to the harvesting season, you find maybe we have imports from outside. So sometimes they actually uh, make our crop not to fetch us uh, profits as we expect. So we also request the government, uh, that as they also prepare to import uh, maybe uh, wheat or other products from outside, they also consider us farmers because we've been having a lot of challenges. Uh, if wheat is imported and yet we are harvesting, then definitely you can imagine uh, the kind of loss as far, uh, that we are going to go as farmers. So wheat farming is very good, it's very nice. I would like to encourage uh, wheat farmers to continue doing the, the exercise. But if we can get subsidized fertilizers and other farm inputs, then definitely uh, we are going even to, in, to increase the acreage that currently we are doing.